Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janelle aka Nelly. So there might be background noise because my dog because she really wants my attention right now. I don't know why. I see her every day. Um but like she really wanted my attention. But she's in our little her little bed right now. So hopefully she just chills out over there. Um also another disclaimer. So I have realized I don't own any winter shade foundations. Um yeah so for any like returning subscribers yeah you're not gonna see me match for a while like i'm not gonna buy another winter foundation because i bought this product in my summer shade because i'm most likely gonna use it in the summer anyway so yeah so prepare for some non-matching but it's okay because i'm i'm planning ahead okay i i it's a whole other story about why i ran out of my winter foundation hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl janelle aka nelly um, so as you can see by today's title, we're talking about the Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. I bet you guys have watched like so many videos on this already, but here I am. Now has came out with the Pro Filter Powder Foundation, and I've never used a powder foundation before, so this is going to be like an interesting experience for me. I'm using all natural sunlight, so you guys can see what it looks like in natural sunlight. I have oily, it's oily combination skin. One thing I love about Fenty is that they're always consistent. They have 50 shades of this foundation, and it's supposed to be a one-to-one -one match, so there's always... I wish every brand did this, like you have 50 shades of their matte foundation, their hydrating foundation, now their powder foundation, like come on. And their concealer, so like, I feel like every other brand should be doing that. So we're here to demo this. Um, I already done my eyebrows. I don't know if I'm going to do like an eyeshadow look today because we're all focused on the base today. So yeah, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to mix two of her primers because I have them both. I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer Mini because I like to have minis. If you are new, I love to have a mini so I can try it out and also because I get tired of things easily, personally. So yeah, I'm going to put that outside perimeter of my face and inside my T-zone where I get oily, I'm going to put the Fenty Beauty Mattifying Primer. So this foundation is supposed to be out in store. So tell me how I went to my store, my local Sephora, on the 26th, the day after Christmas. I have to take my grandma out anyway to go get her little shopping done. And, um... My local Sephora did not have it. And then I checked online to see like any like Sephora's nearby had it. And they didn't have it. Not even like the cream lip glosses. And so I decided to put like a different zip code for like another area of my state. I'm in PA. Um <laughs> who kind of has more like the more current things. Y'all. It's in Allentown. Allentown is not that far away from me. If I knew, if I thought about this earlier, I would have just drove down to Allentown and just get it. And honestly, pick up my Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder because I ordered a new one on the Pat McGrath website. But it came in shattered. So I have to email them again, actually, so I can like return it. Or do I just return it? I'm going to find out. I get a new one because I really do enjoy that powder. So... I would like the new one. I just started using it too when it shattered, so that's the time. <laughs> that's my time. Um, I wasn't even interested in the Fenty Glow Cream, the cream look glosses, but now I am. I think I'm just going to buy the Fenty Glow shade because I like that shade. And I have, like, I don't wear mauves like that anymore. I don't, <laughs> um, the chocolate one seems more red on other people and I don't really want a red. I want like a nice chocolate brown. So I'll just get the Fenty Glow and call it a day. So don't expect a video on that from me. <laughs> Do not expect a video from that from me. This is what the compact looks like. Nice and cute. I opened it yesterday because I got it yesterday at 5 o'clock p.m. I want to use natural sunlight so it's too late for that. So you open it and it looks like this. A mirror. And then there's the foundation. And then underneath the foundation is another mirror with the sponge. So pretty handy. It's not big. It retails for $36. Like I said, I bought in my summer shade, which is $440. I'm very red in the summer. So it's like the perfect match for me in the summer. So it claims to be buildable light to full coverage for all long wear, light as air, crease, crease resistant foundation. There's no flashback. It has a blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blurred finish. It's sweat, humidity, and crease proof. Buildable light to full coverage formula that loves to be layered. Won't settle into fine lines, clog pores, or cake up. Reduces the appearance of shine. It's chic, portable powder, compact fits in hand, which is true. Oh, it's like, I'm on the Fenty Beauty website. It has like a did you know, did you know, Rihanna loves poreless, blurred looking skin. 
but could never find the perfect powder to satisfy her needs. After three years of perfecting the formula, she developed the ultimate powder that makes skin look like skin. Not cakey and works on all skin types and tones. It's a perfect filter to go. It's a perfect filter on the go and she always has this in her purse. It's 100% cruelty free and it's 30, 0.32 ounces, which is 9.1 gram. Is that the looser the brush, the lighter the coverage. And so I have, so I'm gonna use the sponge on one side and I have the Fenty Beauty foundation brush actually. I have this brush, my dog was chewing on it, but she never actually touched the bristles, so I'm gonna still use it. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna do one side with the Fenty Beauty brush and one side with this. I Since I've never used a powder foundation, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm gonna find out. Um, I've watched videos and see how people use it and it looks like you use it any type of way. I'm just mentally confused. So I'm gonna grab the sponge and I'm gonna pat. I'm gonna try to get enough product. Do they have like refillables? We're gonna see how this goes. That's some a nice coverage right there. I'm not gonna lie. Are these like cleanable? I need to look it up. Are these? <laughs> Cause I personally clean like complexion brushes like the same day I use them or like within 24 hours. I like cleaning brushes. I don't know why it's such a big thing in the makeup community. Like, oh my gosh, I hate cleaning brushes. Not own a decent amount of brushes, but I love cleaning brushes. I'm gonna put some over my eyelid just to see how it goes. Oh, it's free. Um, with the hyperpigmentation. So this is what the finish and oh wow, that's really pretty. Um, the coverage looks like wow, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna grab my other mirror. See, I'm a Fenty fan. <laughs> that's really pretty. Oh my gosh. And I don't feel it. Is there a fragrance on this? Or is that my candle? It's my candle. Um, <laughs> this is really pretty. This is really nice. Y'all see that filter blurred effect? That's that's really pretty. So I'm gonna now put this in this little compact. Okay. Um, and grab the Fenty Beauty 115 foundation brush, and we're just gonna. Okay. So as I like gently tapped it up. Some kickback came back, so just so y'all know. I'm gonna try one side with this brush. Cause they said the denser the brush, the more coverage you get. So let's try it. Drop all that excess. I don't even think this is the right brush to use it for, but honestly, I have it. I barely use it because I actually don't really care for this brush personally. <laughs> um, my favorite foundation brush actually is these. This is Real Techniques 301 brush. It looks like this. Foundation stain center, I know. It looks it looks like this. They don't sell anymore. Real Techniques seems to like discontinue certain brushes after a while, and I don't appreciate it whatsoever. Like there's certain brushes that's always in there, but then there's other brushes that like leaves. And I discontinued, and I'm like, for what? For what? That's kind of rude, don't you think? I went on the website to see if they have it. Nope. So I like the side better with the sponge. Because this is so much more flawless. You still see the hyperpigmentation on the corners of my lips. Um, I don't feel it. Like, at all. I don't feel it at all. So that's pretty good. The shade matching, honestly, it's the summer, so... This is my winter shade. This is my summer shade. Crazy. Crazy, right? So I'm going to continue on with the rest of my face and see how much I can build with the powder foundation on areas that I feel like needs a little bit more coverage. So this is what it looks like. It looks really good, actually. So since I have like oily combination skin, I've heard like powder foundations are better for my skin type. 
but I just never really cared to try a powder foundation. I mean, I was interested in the Too Faced one and the Urban Decay one, but I never actually bought it. So this one I actually bought because I love me some Fenty. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. It looks really good. It looks very natural. Like you can't even tell that it's a powder foundation. As you can see, you can still see my hyperpigmentation and stuff. But I feel like once I apply my concealer and my bronzer, it'll be fine. So I'll just fast forward through the rest of my face and I'll talk again after that. Okay, so I set my face like five minutes. No, not even five minutes. Well, maybe it was five minutes. Um, it's now 2.30 p.m. I will show you 2.30 p.m. So I got where it's still 10.30 p.m. So you can see like a whole eight hour review of what it looks like. Come here, Ari. <laughs> she keeps walking all over the place and she's annoyed that I'm not paying attention to her. Such a vain Gemini dog, I swear. But yes, this is what the makeup looks like. Let me scoot up for you. Um, it looks like it looks really red because of my blush. I'm fine with that. But this looks really good. The coverage, the finish, the concealer, and the bronzer. Like I use all powder. So like it honestly worked really well. And it don't match me. I know this. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is gonna match my summer shade. And I'm fine with that. So yeah. So we're gonna come back in eight hours and I will show you what it looks like. Everything I'm wearing will be in the description box down below also just for your, for your own awareness. Okay, so it's been seven hours, but I already have all my thoughts on this foundation. So yeah, it's 9.39, <laughs> it's 9.39 p.m. Um, so yeah, so I was gonna wait an extra hour, but I don't know how I got this red mark on my cheek. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so my thoughts on this foundation is honestly really good. I've never experienced a powder foundation, and I since I have oily to oily common, and since I have oily to oily combination skin, I I never knew like how good it is for our skin tone. I just finished watching Jackie Ima's review on this foundation, and let me tell you. I don't know why I was just overthinking when it came to underpainting because I think this is like the perfect product to use for underpainting. Also, earlier in the video, I used like a the Fenty foundation brush when I'm like, you know what I really should have used was a brush like this. This is um, a Morphe brush that I got in some set. What are you doing? Um, and it's flat and it's a little bit more dense, but it's not as dense as the, as the Fenty foundation brush that I tried to use earlier so now I know I could use it. I blotted my face twice but only blotted my face the first time just to see if I could just remove Ari just to see if I could remove um any yellowness that's going on underneath my eyes because it was very yellow underneath my eyes. This is a really good foundation. I don't know how this will be for dry skin because I don't have dry skin but I feel like um my skin is drier towards the winter but I still could not say if this is good for dry skin. They say it's good for dry skin online, 
but that's for you guys research for super dry skin i think it would be fitting really good for dry skin with like a really good moisturizing primer even though it doesn't really feel matte on me <laughs> it doesn't feel matte on my skin so i still personally feel like it's good for dry skin but that's up to you guys rate this like a uh, 10 out of 10 because like i never tried a powder foundation before so this is actually really 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 good i have been doing a lot better with my underpainting so i feel like i'm gonna try this with my underpainting next time just to see how it goes close up my under eyes oh my gosh my under eyes are so dark because i took a nap yes i took a nap and whenever i take a nap my eyes water when i wake up so that's what happened <laughs> that's what happened with my under eyes but honestly I look really good. I genuinely enjoy this foundation. It feels like nothing. It's very comfortable. I forgot about it most of the time. I would remind myself like I'm wearing foundation so I don't do nothing to mess it up. So <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend this product. I think it's like one of the best products Fenty came out with because I do enjoy their soft matte and I do enjoy their hydrating foundation. I just think this is more universal for more people because it doesn't feel that dry it doesn't feel drying at all on the skin you can apply as much or as little as you want um it's just a perfect little thing so shout out to Fenty for coming out with like a really good powder foundation excited to use this for until it finishes <laughs> and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have a happy holidays and a happy new year because i'm not gonna record again until probably next was gonna be considered next year so yeah be safe okay like come on guys there's a pan panoramic pandemic going on so like be safe wear your mask um it's so simple um <laughs> or just stay home and so yeah hope you guys have a nice and lovely day wherever you are and i'll see you guys next time bye